Uh, now I'm going to turn it over to Dan for the live Q&A portion of this session. Um, I haven't seen any uh, questions come in yet, so I think let's start with um, a few questions that we often see come, come up. So Dan, maybe can you share with us if um, there's any way people can customize the auto DevOps uh, flow? Yeah, absolutely. Great question. Um, so the auto DevOps workflow that you see, the pipeline that gets built automatically, um, is customizable. Uh, that is what you saw was the out of the box capabilities. Uh, it's it's very easy to get that template that's being used and and put that into your repository and then customize it to do whatever you need at stages, at different jobs. Uh, so that's a, a very doable. Um, and it's also, I want to also take this opportunity to point out that auto DevOps and that flow is not the only thing that you can do with GitLab in general. You can run any type of pipeline. You can define it in a gitlab-ci.yaml file, which is where we define it, right there in the repository next to your code, uh, and then structure it yourself to uh, to handle whatever types of builds and tests you want and deployments that you want. There's also many other templates under new file. When you create a new file, there's other many, also many other templates for pipelines there for different languages and different uh, uh, system structures that you can also uh, start from. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dan. Um, I still have not seen any questions yet, so let's maybe go for one, one other one that we often see. So we offer uh, self-manage versus kind of like managed service. So can you share the difference between GitLab.com and our self-managed uh, service? Absolutely. So GitLab.com is our SaaS service. Um, it uh, is, uh, uh, has four different tiers that you can, that, like with our, our self-managed, it has four different tiers that you can uh, use it at. Uh, there is a free tier um, and there is a starter tier which has uh, more capability, um, and then a premium tier. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the. I'm thinking of the self-managed. So there's a, a bronze, uh, silver, uh, uh, gold uh, tiers. There's actually four: uh, free, bronze, silver, and gold. Um, and those those equate directly to our self-managed because we actually run the same code um, all the time. Uh, so the self-managed that you can get, and self-managed mean it is what we used to call um, on-prem. Uh, but with the cloud, uh, you, you've met, you might choose to run it in the cloud and manage it yourself. Uh, so our, we do have a, a cloud native deployment available. Uh, and when you do that, then th you have the, the tiers I was talking about, starter, um, uh, premium, uh, and ultimate, and then there's also the free tier. And so those equate uh, to, to the online offering. Uh, and between those different tiers, you get more capabilities. For example, when you move to premium, you start getting capabilities for enterprise, such as uh, geo uh, replication um, uh, and other, other such features like HA. Uh, and then uh, at the ultimate level or slash the gold level, if you're doing um, a SaaS version, uh, you get uh, capabilities around like the security scanning, which you can do at the other tiers, but it's more integrated in. You get more data from it. Um, tightly integrated into the whole process. Awesome. Um, still no questions. Come on, everyone. Um, we are opening up the floor for any questions you, you have. Um, and I guess if we don't have any, um, maybe we'll, we'll try to wrap up with one last question. Uh, and maybe what, you know, the most kind of like famous questions that a lot of people sometimes wonder, it's um, what's the difference between GitLab versus GitHub? Uh, yeah, we do hear that uh, more than we'd love, like to. Um, glad that we can get the opportunity to make that clear. So um, GitLab started as an open source version of GitHub many, many years ago. Um, GitHub, as many of you might know or might not know, is proprietary software, even though it's, it is a, a, a force around supporting open source. Um, so GitLab started as 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 with is replicating all the capabilities of GitHub, uh, and then we very quickly surpassed those capabilities uh, and provided a better um, by 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 industry definition uh, and, and by what uh, analysts told us a better SCM op offering, uh, and then 
uh, added CI and integrated in directly. Uh, and then now we, we've continued to add to that. So we have the entire uh, DevOps lifecycle covered. So while GitHub is still focused on the, the source code management and kind of some of the periphery pieces around that, like issue tracking um, and maybe issue boards and a little bit of code review and discussions, uh, GitLab has all of that plus the ability to run your CI pipelines, to run your CD, your release pipelines, do packaging, uh, Kubernetes integration, um, uh, infrastructure management and configuration, deployments, tracking, monitoring, uh, and security scanning. So quite a bit more. Awesome. All right. Still no questions. So I guess we will uh, Looks like up. we do. Hold on. We oh, do have a question. Oh, yeah, we do. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Um, give me a uh, so Sunny is asking the monitoring and the review features seem to be focused on the web-based apps. Do these also handle non-web-based apps? Great question. Uh, so um, yes, the monitoring and review features are focused right now, Auto DevOps in particular, on, on web-based applications. Uh, you can use absolutely GitLab, and we have many thousands of customers using GitLab to do non-web-based applications uh, um, to do uh, to compile code that goes to embedded systems, to compile just regular software. Um, but uh, these new features are, you know, and particularly the monitoring of, of the apps, for example, you know, and the, um, the review apps, which are actually spinning up a, a, a running version of your web application. Yeah, those are particularly web-based web app focused. But again, I'll, I want to stress that uh, GitLab itself, uh, putting aside all the DevOps and the whole demo you just saw, is very capable of running any pipeline for um, uh, for all sorts of software development. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, Dan. Um, I'm going to wrap up since we only have four minutes left. If there's no other questions, um, so this demo. Uh, and last unit session is something new that we're trying out. So we'd love to hear what your thoughts are on today's session and would really appreciate your responses to our survey, which I'll drop in the chat. We'd also like to invite you to sign up for a free trial of GitLab Ultimate. I'll chat that link as well. And finally, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach us via our sales contact page about.getlab.com. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us.